Yes, I'm going to do it. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are broadcasting live, as you know, from the 14th annual Hank Stewart White Linen Affair. And I'm telling you, I've said it before, it is off the chain. The folks are starting to come in. The celebrities are starting to come in. A wonderful event. This is his annual fundraiser for the Stewart Foundation. As I said before, it is all about the kids. And I'm going to be saying that all even. It's all about the youth. We've interviewed some of the youth this evening. And um, they're here getting ready to set up for tomorrow. They have their own banquet tomorrow. So uh, we may be talking to a few more of them later on. But right now we have a gentleman with us who is a dear friend of mine. What you see right here? What, what, this, this is the man. This is the man. This is the man made it happen. Hair and makeup. Wow, more of makeup and more is here with us this evening. Thank you. I gotta give you a hug. First of all, I, oh, I have known this man for well, we're not gonna say how long we've known. Right, long time. But, <laughs> but I have known this man for a minute. Um, awesome makeup artist, awesome hairstylist, um, just a, a, a gentleman, a gentleman. Um, and it's just sweet. a humble thank spirit. You. So um, just thank you so much for being here. Oh, my Stay pleasure. Here. My pleasure. Thank you for making me look so good. Look, okay, look, 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 look. It was not hard. Just a couple of little color here, <laughs> color there. And you look amazing. It's you wonderful. really do. Well, thank you, you really do. Thank my you. pleasure to thank take you. a little part in that. <laughs> Tell us, when you, as you're working with makeup and you're working with hair, what is, what is your vision when you're working with your clients? What is your vision? My vision is to try to not create, not overdo. Um, I deal with my, what I call them, everyday celebrities. So a lot of clients, although I've done a lot of celebrities, you'll see them on my website, uh, Vivica Fox and some other people. Uh, but really to to get women into the next level of makeup. I'm really a, a teacher at heart, as, yes. as Paula is. And so me really teaching and showing women, that's my biggest thing because I try to make them forget what they knew back 20 years ago if your mom or grandma showed mm -hmm. you how to put on makeup mm -hmm. probably time to get a new lesson mm -hmm. and i'm the teacher i'm a witness <laughs> i'm a witness i'm just telling you i'm a witness that is so true so okay so what are some of the myths that you try to dispel yeah like when, when, when women say uh you ask women about makeup they say oh i don't like makeup because it's too heavy right. makeup is not based on foundation although foundation is the base right. but there's a lot of other things out there you might not want to do a liquid you might just want to do a powder but look at the eyeshadows and lip glosses and lipsticks and things that you can do they have nothing to do with foundation you know there's a lot of women with pretty skin but sometimes we want to add a little something so i mean that's that's my mission to teach women how to do makeup better because my thing is if women i i do the survey all the time if women knew how to do their own makeup better would they do it more often and 99 percent yeah they would. So my object is to teach you those techniques and those small things that may be taking you from a level eight to a 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. So that's what I try to do. So if we knew how to do it better. Better, you would, would do, do it, it more, more often. often. Exactly, wow. exactly. That is huge, I never, I've never really thought about it that way. So, okay, so when you're doing makeup, yes. you're starting your makeup. Yes. Where do you start? Lips, eyes, where, where do you start? I usually start with the brows. I know brows on fleek is a big thing like that, but I've been an eyebrow expert for a long time. I really started getting really great at waxing. So if you can wax a brow really great and really detailed, the razor's nothing. So I really try to get that uh, eyebrow arts because it really helps frame the face. And those women who don't want to wear a lot of makeup, if you do those eyebrows properly, a little bit, maybe some of those concealer or highlighter tricks, that's going to give you a look of makeup with a very small addition to what you're doing. And it's not hard. So you're going to be with us this evening? You want to hang be around? With you all weekend. I'm going to be doing touch-ups, trying to yes. keep you beautiful. Trying to keep you looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Lyle Moore of Makeup and More. How can people get in touch with you? You can catch me on my website. My All of my stuff is branded. It's makeup, M-A-K-E-U-P-A-N-D, and more is M double O R E, like my last name. So I put that, incorporated that in there. Yes. You can catch me at makeupandmore.com, makeupandmore at Facebook, and my IG is makeup underscore and underscore more. Because I know all the young kids are on the IG. So, right. <laughs> so tune in, check me out. And my number is 770 310 3918. So anything you need, call me, you can work it out. Large classes or small. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Lyle Moore of Makeup and More. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Hang around with us this evening. I will. Mwah. Thank you. Thank baby. you. <laughs>
you